Welcome back to the Lenten Lessons on the Mass. And today we finish my presentation on the first part of the Mass known as the Liturgy of the Word. And the last element is known as the Prayers of the Faithful, also known as the General Intercessions or the Universal Prayer. And normally what happens, if you have a deacon or a lector, they will come to the ambo and they will recite some petitions and invite the congregation to respond by saying, we pray to the Lord, and people respond, Lord, hear our prayer. They're almost always recited in the vernacular. Vernacular is a technical word for you. It means English. For people in Mexico, it means Spanish, but in a language they can understand. The prayers of the faithful are not obligatory, but I don't know why you wouldn't pray them at Mass, because the Mass has four ends to it. Petition, adoration, reparation, thanksgiving. And the prayers of the faithful are the quintessential element of prayer of petition. You need to have at least four prayers of the faithful in the general intercessions, and ten would be about the most. Sometimes, when I'm at a church and they don't have the prayers of the faithful uh, listed out or printed out, I already have in my mind prayers that I like to say. Let us pray for the church, the spotless bride of Christ and his mystical body, so that one day all Christians, Catholics, Protestants, and Orthodox may be united in the one true church Jesus founded. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Then I pray for the Holy Father and the bishops and the priests. And then I pray for everyone in whatever possible situation they could be who might be suffering. Now let's pray for all those that are suffering, for the sick, for the dying, for the grieving, for the homeless, for the unemployed, for those who are in prison, for those who feel left out or misunderstood for whatever reason, for those who have addictions, for refugees and immigrants anywhere in the world who are anxious about their future, let us pray. Because as a Christian community, we need to be empathetic to the needs and the sufferings of others others and pray for them. So we've gotten a whole lot of prayer done so far in the Mass. And now that we've finished with the Liturgy of the Word, it's time for us to move to the altar for the Liturgy of the Eucharist. And this is where the sacrifice is represented. Did you like what you learned today? Well, there's a lot more where that came from, so stay tuned.